Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to quickly share with you the 10 easiest and the basic ways to spa a fake Hermes Kelly or Bergen bags. Those 10 ways also can apply for other Hermes bags if their features are the same. Those 10 ways are very easy and basic, therefore you don't need to use the professional tool to look at it, you just use your naked eyes to tell. Since I'm not a professional authenticator, if you use all the 10 ways that I talk about, you still cannot identify the item, then I will highly recommend looking for a professional authentication company to do further inspection. Recent years, more and more people buying a mask bag from the pre-love or reseller because in the retailer store, it's very difficult to get the quarter bag. So those 10 ways I think may help you in some way. If the fake one is not super fake, you will easily to tell whether this is a fake or real. I hope this video is helpful. In case you also want to know about the Chanel or Louis Vuitton, please leave a comment below. I will do the similar video. Now this is my first time doing this type of a video. I don't know if I can put everything together to explain well. And I also wanted to mention that since I don't have the fake Hermes bag, so I cannot show you the difference. Therefore, I will insert a lot of pictures for you to understanding what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I will turn the camera in other ways so you will see more clearly. Let's start with the dust bag. Now this bag besides on uh, what type of the material they made it, you also can find a lot of detail from this stamp. So let's talk about the four things you can find from this stamp. So the first one, let's look out for this circle. So the circle, as you can see, the inside is a board font. And the outside, it's a fine line. It's not the same. But the, the fake one, sometimes they will forget about this detail. So they will make both line the same size. Number two is this little circle here. As you can see, there's one gap and the two gap. So there are two gaps for the real one. But the, the fake one, sometimes they will connect one side and leave one gap. Or they connect this side, leave this gap. This is also the thing. Number three is the edge. This edge is uh, very skinny. It's not a fat one. Sometimes the fake one is a little bit fat. The other thing is that these four sides all connected with this circle. The fake one sometimes will not connect with this circle. Number four is the most important is right here. This is the wheel. So this is the front one, this is the rear one. The front one has a 10 hubs and the rear one has a 12 hubs. Now how to count? Let's just close look. So we start from this middle one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a ten. So we start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a twelve. So fake one won't be so detailed. So this is for the that's bad that you can see. So those are the four things you need to keep in mind. So next thing we're going to look at the logo. Here you can see this Hermes Paris made in France. The easiest way to look at it first is H-E-R. So when you look at the H-E-R, you see the H line there, middle line, and the E is also middle line, then R is also line. So these three lines has to be straight one line. Uh, but the fake one, sometimes the problem will be the, on the H and the sometimes problem will be the R. So this you need to keep in mind. And the H and the top of the H is shorter and the bottom of the two line is longer. And then you see the H-E-R, they are one line. 
and uh, also the E, the top and the bottom same. The middle one is shorter. This is the second thing. And the R is not just go straight down. Look at the fake one. Sometimes they will come out straight down. This R. It's, but this one has a like wrong, then come down. Okay, so the other thing you can look at is this is how I look at all the time and I saw so many fake one this is made in France this France is a big thing so when you look at the France F R A now R has to connect with the A so that will be the real one but the fake one, they are individual. F R A. I saw so many fake ones, they are not connected. R and R A and A. So this is how I look at it. Let me just close out. Can you see the R and the A? They are connect. Very easy to tell. So you see the R and the A made in France, that friends R and the A. They are connected, they are not individual. Next thing we're gonna talk about the rivet. This is a Kelly 20A. When you flip over, you will see those four of the rivets. And the color is a little bit dark. It's not a shiny. It's so the fake one will be very shiny and they made it by the standstill. They will never get uh, oxidized. Okay, so you can see that's the that's the way. If you see very shiny, then it's not a real. Bergen twenty five, my newly purchased, right? It's a very brand new, and you can see it's not a shiny. It's more like a matte color, like a brushed. Therefore, you can very quickly to tell the real or fake. Okay, so next one is also the bell. So if the real one, everything is close stick together. But the, the fake one, I'm gonna insert the picture. You will see it has the big gap. So this is also very easy to tell. The fake one, they probably not gonna do that good, so you will easy to tell. Next thing, the feet. As you can see, they have the feet right here. Uh, so they all the way inside the bag. But the fake one, pull out any bag, a lot of bag has like, you can see the feet, you can see the outside, it's there. Right, so this is uh, most lower bag. They do that, but Irma has a different way to do the feet. The, they put the feet all the way in, so you don't see most of the bag. You can still see the outside. It just uh, like stick on there, like this one. It's like not the Irma's bag. You can see. The feet like that so the fake one most likely they like doing feet like that so this is another way you can easily to tell so the last one is the lock so from the lock you can see Irma's uh, words if they are correct and also the way they make it's a very smooth not rough at all and this is the uh, uh, Kelly's uh, lock. So this is a broken 25 lock. Now here is 0232 the code 2022 March. First and the third digit is the month and the second and the fourth digit are year. So this one was made by 2022 March. And the Kelly bag was made 2019 months of the July so that's the code means 0179 so the last one let's just look at the stitching 
as many of you know, the Emma has a very special type of the stitching, and they call it is the saddle stitching. So let me move close, as you can see. Uh, each stitch may be not a perfect line up compared with the fake one. The fake one they were using the machine stitching. Of course, the Irma will use the hand stitching. So that's why it may be not exactly the same like the machine one. So I want to point out that each stitching you can see is has a little bit of angle. And compare with the machine, the machine one will be straight. Each stitching is a straight. And this one, it has the angle. So all Hermes bag, I believe, will have the same stitching. This is their signature or their special type of the stitching. So this is also you can see. So those are the 10 details that you can spot a fake or real bag. However, there's more than 10 details that are including the zipper, including the leather. I don't cover in this video because for the zipper, I know how to check, but I try to put it into this video as well. But come out, it's very, very dark because zipper is inside the bag, the interior pockets. So it's very difficult for me to show you guys. That's why I don't cover in this video. And also uh, there's leather. Professional authentication company, they also examine the leather, whether this is a real leather or fake leather. There's so many details. But for today's video, it just for you, it's very easy and quick to spot. So yeah, so those are the 10 details I want to share with you. So those are all about today's video. I hope this is helpful and I also hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye bye.